And yes, 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 y'all, the, the, the room is filled today with some smart people. <laughs> so I'm going to be on my behavior. I'm going to act right today, try to pronounce my words right, you know, all that. But uh, Mr. D going to be co-hosting with me, you guys. So he's going to come in and we're going to meet his beautiful wife. So stay with us. This journey is going to get higher and higher, you guys. All right, so let's get started. What's up, what's up, iHeartRadio, every Sunday at 9 p.m. Thank you for joining Miss Pillow Talks. I'm Catrice Wright. I am here tonight to bring you a special author. Y'all, I'm so excited to introduce to you Mr. Rob Davis. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm excited to be here. I thank appreciate you. the opportunity. It is an honor to be here with you, you and share the information that people may need to hear. Man, I mean, you are, first of all, no, I appreciate you. We appreciate oh, you. you. You and your wife you. taking time out just to drop in. We're not going to keep you too long because, you know, um, you know, business people, they got a schedule, right? So we want to respect that. If you have a question, you guys go ahead, chime it in early, and we can maybe get it answered. Yes. So we're here to talk about your book. Okay. That's a lot to this book. So I'm just going to do a little, we're going to do a little introduction. Then we're going to get to a few major points with Mr. D. He already been reading this book. Okay. The book is true. I, I like true. True wealth. Come on, somebody. I, we need to know the true wealth, it starts in the yes. mind. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, tell me a little bit about just what inspired you. Did you like make it and then you wanted to write the book or did you take the journey and start creating the book as you was on this journey to well? That's a good question. Um, it, it came about, a friend of mine, uh, Lisa Jones, came up with an idea okay. to have a book and what she wanted to do was to have several people in the financial world mm -hmm. to be in the book. So actually, for those of you all that decide to get the book, mm -hmm. it's like getting 15 books in mm -hmm. one. Because you got 15 different perspectives on mm. keys on how to build wealth, the do's and don'ts on how to do things so you can make decisions based on your heart instead of just your pocket. Mm. And a lot of times, you know, everybody want to be wealthy, they want to be financially independent, mm -hmm. but it doesn't start with the fact that you um, are making money, mm -hmm. it's how you make your money. And that starts here. Mm -hmm. And that's one of the things I didn't learn growing up in the projects in the Bronx, New York. Oh, and projects. So, oh, yeah. We got, we got some Hanson. more hood up in yeah, here with Mr. Yeah, D. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering. I got out. I got out of wow. my life. So, um, but I, I enjoyed that part of my life. And I talk about that in the book. Okay. I talk about how you grow up and um, the food that you are fed Mm -hmm. um, physically does certain things to your body mm -hmm. and I talk about how the food that we're fed here mm. does things to our mind mm -hmm. and so when I got an opportunity to be a part of the book mm -hmm. um, it was just very enlightening to put things on paper in regards to how I grew up how I was thinking mm -hmm. and then when I got into financial services how I was learning things about the do's and don'ts mm -hmm. on building wealth and so uh, it was a great project. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's a great read. Okay, so he said something that just two things that kind of captured me, and I'm going to go to you say changing your food, your diet. Because every principle in this book, we're talking about wealth in you spiritually. Yes. Wealth in your, your, your physical. Relationships. Your rela the okay, so we, we're talking about money, but before you get to the money, money, you have to renew your mind, change your mind. So I'm feeling like you say you got to change your appetite. Oh, yeah. Because if you're in the ghetto, you know how it is. You might be, okay, first of all, excuse me. I'm not, you know, down to anybody in the hood. Like, you know, we all got some hood yeah. in us, you know. So when you on a budget, I'm right. going to say that. Right. You right. can't right. eat the same. You don't always eat. TJ, why are you laughing? Everybody on a budget. I, I, I feel you. I you feel me? When you on a budget, you don't just go up in the grocery store and get, and get whatever anything. You want. Oh, no. It's, and it's different. different. And, you don't, and, and you don't go in certain grocery stores. You can't go so to I Harris Teeter. No, if not if you're on a budget. Whole Foods. I, yeah. didn't, I didn't know anything about that growing up. You I'm, know? So I'm still learning you, you about You have to the, do what you can do when you have what you have. Oh, my God. And when you have money, the choices you can make. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you eating good they, today, they right? <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you Your wife that. already told me we eating good today, and I'm gonna bring her in. Thanks be to God. But how do we get there? So changing your appetite oh, is principles. Yes, these are habits. This is we're creating a wealthy mind by changing our whole 
Like, okay, my husband always say, you can't take the hood out of him. Like, he, he's very educated, very smart. I'm not picking on you, baby. You got something to say about that. Okay. But, you know, certain things, it's like oh, a yeah. hustle. Oh, you yeah, got yeah, that hustle. Yeah, yeah. You got to keep the hustle. You mm -hmm. want to make, you stay hungry. You stay on your grind. I know that mm -hmm. for a fact. So, now that you've changed your appetite, you've changed your diet, tell us one thing that was major that you had to change. Maybe it's in the book, okay. maybe it's not yeah, in the book. Yeah, one, one of the things that, and this is for people who really want to win. I mean, if okay. you really want to be successful in whatever area you decide to be in, you have to understand the power of your environment. Mm, you good. have to be in an environment conducive to winning. Wow. Because the environment helps you with the three steps to becoming successful. You have to change the way you think, mm -hmm. number one. Then you change your habits. Okay. And then the results change. Oh. See, I think a lot of people, they don't want to change the way they think. Mm -hmm. And they don't want to change their habits, mm -hmm. but they do want their results to change. That's why the lottery is so popular. Because mm -hmm. you don't have to change those things. Mm -hmm. But if you, yeah, yeah but, you, but if you really want to have the great probability of being successful, mm -hmm. you have to be in that environment mm -hmm. so you can change the way you think. See, when I was in the Bronx, in the mm -hmm. projects, I thought a certain way because I was in that environment. Right. When I went to college and got a master's degree, I thought a certain way. But oh. then when I got into business, I thought a different way. And so wow. it's just so important for those of you who want to win, you have to be in an environment conducive to winning. I like that, Rob Davis. Um, by the way, you guys, um, check him out at robdavis.com. That's where you can find that book, right? Yes, it's robddavis.com. Oh. www.robddavis.com. That's my landing page, and you okay. can see a little bio, and you can get the book. Yeah, yeah make sure you get that. Um, this is the first time I'm really excited to read another book. I, I you know, I don't read a lot. But anyway, I started. Yeah, I started. Yeah, I listen, I understand. Because <laughs> we on a journey. Yeah. Because I like what you said. You change, you shift. We've been talking about shifting, shifting. Mm -hmm. So at every level, to get out the ghetto, to get educated. I know when I went to school, I had to change my way of thinking. Right, right. Even, you know, getting married. You're talking about relationships. Yes. A lot of people, they get stuck. Because, like you say, it starts in the mind. It does. It really does. And one of the things that I want you all to understand when I talk about environment, it doesn't have to necessarily be you have to move from your house or a neighborhood, mm -hmm. but the things that you read, mm -hmm. the people you're hanging around, mm -hmm. that also helps you change your environment. Yes, so listen, we're going to take a little break. Our mm -hmm. Radio, when we come back, we're going to have my hubby, Mr. D, come and co-host. Oh, now, he really got the questions. I was like, you know, <laughs> I'm just going to say that for him. And hopefully, many will join us. You guys, wait right there. Now, go get your chicken. Go get your, you know, whatever you need to get, your popcorn. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. We're back. Welcome back, Our Heart Radio. Every Sunday at 9 p.m., I am Ms. Pillow Talks, your host. And tonight, we are finishing the conversation of true wealth starts in the mind. Y'all catch that. True wealth starts in the mind. So the first half, we've already talked a little bit about some um, principles already. Uh, you should be looking forward to reading that book like I am. Thank you, Lord, for, you know, stretching my capacity. Yes, that's what it's about. So, y'all, I got Mr. D in the building, and I got Miss Minnie Davis joining us. Whoop, 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 the wide. Y'all, yes. that's his good thing, right? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> we understand, we understand. She is just as much a, a, um, a part of yes. this journey, and um, I want to hear your thoughts, too. But, uh, Mr. D, what's up? What's up? Hey. Everything is... Going? Everything is going well. Okay. Um, it, it is a blessing. You know, I feel different. Like, I don't ever get to co-host. Whatever. You, you're feel, a piece, but you always I see him, don't you? You, you, you might, what? Hang with her, y'all. I have a nickname. Y'all know a Mr. D. Like, I've been branded, so appreciate you. Uh. Yeah. So, with, with this guy here, y'all, um, Mr. Davis, Rob, you know, I never mm -hmm. forget when I called. I, mm -hmm. You know, I went, and I, was try I went on LinkedIn, found your information. Mm-hmm. Call the number. I'm like, okay, is this gonna be him? <laughs> but before then, you had told you had talked about him years ago. Yeah. Go ahead um, and finish. I just want to put that little thing. Yeah, I, I spoke about days. this guy over a year and a half ago. I was in business uh, and what he's doing, not quite on his level, on my way. But uh, I realized once I started really getting into it, mm -hmm. you know, once the water started getting troubled, and you know, life be life, and there's people saying stuff like oh, that. Yeah. 
I started hearing about his team. Uh -huh. I started seeing him. I would go to the AALC and all the stuff that he's going to talk about. But um, I recognized, I'm like, you know what? I do need to make a decision. So as much as it's going to be tough for me to do financially, I'm going to let my business go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to drop it all. Mm -hmm. Let it wash out my system, wash me out the system, and come back in, and I already know where I was going. I appreciate that. Yeah, so mm -hmm. this is a great conversation. As y'all have heard already, as you've seen already, great guy, awesome guy, very wise. And honestly, I just want to go right back into something you were saying, because I actually had underlined one of the first things you said. Like, you said, as a matter of fact, in the book, you know, growing up, my parents fed me. Mm -hmm to the point that I got to where I can feed myself. Mm -hmm. But what you eat becomes so important. Yes. And obviously y'all did talk about it a little bit, but I think it's so important, especially in the current time that we're in, everybody wants success and we want it quickly. Mm -hmm. Yes. <clears throat> but you still gotta eat Yes. Mm -hmm. to work. You gotta eat, you know, to mm -hmm. match. I mean, you can try to go to the gym, you can try to do eight hour shit, but if you didn't eat properly, it's gonna be a long eight hours. So yeah. can you talk a little bit more about that? Like when it comes to our community, Mm -hmm. and how important it is going forward. If, like, if we really want to get in on what's going on, what are some of the things we absolutely have to do right now? Uh, the first thing you got to do is make sure that you're getting proper information. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, I see a lot of things um, online and social media where people uh, portray that they are doing things financially and they have all of these ways to make money fast because, like you said, everybody wants it fast. <laughs> Um, it's not uh, clap chat, it's snap chat, mm. you know, it's snap, you know, <laughs> everything is so mm -hmm. fast, it's not marathon a gram, it's Instagram, uh -huh. so everything is fast, right, and um, so they think they can get it like that, but you have to make sure that you have proper information, the Bible talks about knowledge and lack of knowledge, mm -hmm. but we've been given knowledge, and I talk about this in the book, we've been given knowledge that wasn't necessarily proper. And so I have a saying, proper information and inspiration without application will never lead to transformation. And everybody wants to be transformed, but you got to make sure it's proper information. So there's some principles and some keys that people really need to make sure they're getting the right information. And um, I hope that's something that y'all really... Y'all heard all of those words with the I-O-Ns? <laughs> you know, the ultimate one being transformation. Like, he was just dropping nuggets, you know. And a big thing for me, like some of you all know, um, you know, my wife and I, we just launched a ministry. You know, we just launched a, a church, a fellowship not too long ago. Congrats. To um, yes. Thank you. Yes. And, uh, you know, my wife and I, as a matter of fact, some of you that joined us live the other night, um, God has done a lot in our lives, mm -hmm. uh, all of us. One of the things I've learned is God has brought me, as they say, from a mighty long way, I still have a ways to go. Right. I'm not going to act like because we just started a ministry and, People want to slap a title on my name and maybe hold me in an esteem or whatever that that makes me somebody. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't, especially if you're trying to truly get there. Like you'll stay humble, you keep your head down. So as I've grown in a lot, realizing that I need to grow more, one of the biggest things that I need to strengthen, the weak area was getting to that financial level of making the real transformation across the board. Okay, mm -hmm. and that's one of the things that for me, like I have you know, what they call in the church covering. Like when you do ministry, whatever, you have a covering. Mm -hmm. You know, and so I have two of them um, at the same time. That's when it comes to ministry, and they can help out in other areas as well, but I knew that I needed that financial piece. I needed a specialist on another level. Mm -hmm. And so that was always something that was a desire, and so you look up and we're here. It took a few years, but we're here. And so I told my wife, I said, look, whatever, you know, he says I got to do, and put this thing together, I'm just going to do what I got to do. I think twice about it, just figure it out, make it happen. Mm -hmm. and, and I've noticed that you've, you've done that. Uh, even, you know, when me and many talk, we talk about you all and uh, um, the spirit that you have that you want to learn. But it's not just for you. You know, you want to help so many other people. You, you feel the same thing, right? And honestly, like I've been, that's, that's one of the things that we immediately connected with when we first met you guys. Um, we have a household philosophy that when God blesses you in abundance, you don't build higher fences, you build a longer table. Mm -hmm. I hate when people of that's means good. say stuff like, oh, it's lonely at the top. Yeah. That's only because you're not trying to bring anybody with you. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
So I, I, the, the principles of our household are Sounds such like that, that almost cry right there. God mm -hmm. put so much in our hands mm -hmm. because he expected us to deal these cards from the top of the deck to whoever wants mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. So for you to seek Rob out, I promise you, if you're eating good, that food in your refrigerator didn't get there because you closed the door and something magic happened. You had to go outside of your home and get something that you need to nourish you. Mm -hmm. Bring it here and be and purse it out to your family. Mm -hmm. That was you going to the supermarket, the good supermarket, mm -hmm. and finding something that your family and your people need to eat and stock in your fridge with it mm -hmm. so you can give it out readily. So I just appreciate the reach out to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. Because y'all have blessed us just by, by, yeah, by being here. Y'all really blessed true. us. Wow. With the friendship. Wow. wow. Y'all don't even know what that means to us. Thank you so much. Many, just from mm -hmm. the first day they were meeting, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then um, she just, um, I was just in the conference room. You know, a lot of times ladies, women don't show up. And I appreciate how you show up for your husband. I want you to talk a little bit about that because I know you have your own success story. And then mm -hmm. coming together, you're like right there with your husband. I, mm -hmm. I was so embarrassed when I saw you like, you busy. I mean, I thought I was busy. I was like, y'all know, you know, I was like, this is embarrassing for me to be like, you know, I got to go or whatever, because she took out her time, didn't she? Yeah. They, yeah. they they, settled. You, because of who you guys are, I know it was God, because it didn't seem like we was messing up your schedule. And I no, know, no, no, I know, no, yeah, they got no. a big team. So just, <laughs> just for them to accept my husband and accept us like you guys have, like really, we appreciate it. And it, right. it was a God thing that we were seeking, that he was praying. And I can say, my husband, I am so proud of you for not giving up and for wanting to jump. Like I, you know, this is no, personal. Okay. Like I'm so excited that, that God connected you two yeah. because I, I could tell that you're not, you, you're not running games, and right. he's not running games. It's right. night and day different. Oh, but many, many, <laughs> tell me. Yeah, I met many of you guys, came in there, and we, we had the same thing in there. Pause. We was like, oh, this is God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And look, and we yeah. always have donkey sauce. Yeah, donkey sauce. Y'all saw the donkey sauce video. Okay, so tell me a little bit about yourself, Minnie, and, and how did God brought you together in, in this business? Just what's on your heart? For this hour, where God has bought you, your business, your mindset, and then coming together with your husband. Honestly, listen, like in all things, I think God brought us together without us even knowing it. Okay. He ended up putting us in the same place mm -hmm. at the same time, right when we were getting the same mentality. Mm -hmm. One of the things I love about our business is that it absolutely values partnerships. Mm -hmm. When you've taken the step to stand before your God and your family and friends and say that I'm going to be spiritually, physically, financially tethered to this person for the rest of my life. Wow. When you make it a point to do that, business shouldn't be any different. Mm -hmm. So in business, I'm regarded just as he mm -hmm. is. Mm -hmm. So anything that he mm -hmm. wins in business, I win in business. Yes. And thank God for it. Yeah. It's added years to my life. <laughs> it has added years to my life, time to my schedule, yes. housekeepers to our payroll. Yes. So, yes. so so we're regarded as we're still yoked as one. Mm -hmm. So anything that I do to contribute to the business, he benefits. Anything he does to contribute to the business, I benefit. I and it's that. such a blessed relationship because it really opens up different doors mm -hmm. within your relationship. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and I want to say this, and yes. because she has certain talents yes. that I don't have yes. and vice versa, it makes for us to go where we want to go a lot faster. Right. Sure. We operate in our gifts yeah. Yeah. and abide in our callings. Oh, Stay in your lanes and bring it together as one. That's yeah. it. Yeah. That's so, powerful. Yeah. I think y'all, you know, she said a lot. They both said a lot. Even when you first started off with the don't build higher fences with a longer table. Oh, mm. absolutely. Just That's stop good. and think about that for a second. You know, um, you know, kingdom, work, ministry. They're all spelled not with the way you hear the word, but they're all spelled with P E O P L E. People. That people. If you don't understand people, you don't understand God. If you don't understand people, you don't understand business. You you have to have that understanding. Um, even prosperity, like you know, to want to change your life financially. Okay, you can do that easily, depending on what type of time you want to sacrifice to a point. But the bigger picture is. 
who else do you want to impact? And that's the thing that will determine how far you go and how mm -hmm. quick you get there and whether or not what you're doing is sustained. Because once you feel like, oh, I got the table I want, I'm comfortable. Mm. But what about somebody else, you know, yeah. that don't have a table, that don't know how to buy one, that don't know how to build one, you know. And meanwhile, all of the gifting and everything that God placed in you, you cut the flow off mm -hmm. just because you got mm -hmm. your stuff and you don't have a, a bigger vision. You know, I think I think that's something. What is your, now that you're here, because I found out mm -hmm. somebody was trying to get me back into business through them. And I said, no, nah, let me go ahead and stop you now. I'm, I'm not going to do this. This is what I want to do, Rob Davis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, I, and I, I'm ready to drive down to Columbia since we're having this conversation. I'm about to go drive down and see if I can get a meeting with him. Mm -hmm. He says, D, he's in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. I said, say what? Like he was like, he, he's in Charlotte. He's been in Charlotte for like over a year now. And so what does that mean? Sometimes, until you're willing to see, you don't realize that God would have answered your prayer before you even set out on the journey. Mm, that's true. You know, and so once I found it out, like, so here we are. Now you're in Charlotte. Mm -hmm. It's wide open, and we're in, in our studio in Gastonia, which is also wide open. There was somebody that had an office here. Really? And we just saw it. They're not here no more. It's around the corner. No longer here. Wow. So it's like all these opportunities and stuff is opening up. So what is the vision that you see oh. for this area? Yeah, yeah. The, the first vision is I want to make sure that we can have a hundred licensed agents that can help people with the financial literacy and economic empowerment. You know, our goal is to help low-income families move to middle income and help middle-income families move to upper income. And we can't do that with just one person. Mm -hmm. now, I already have over 500 agents, 19 offices. You know, I've been doing this for a while, but I don't have anything here in Charlotte. And so the first vision is to have a hundred agents that can go out and do workshops, seminars, mm -hmm. uh, church events, um, lunch and learns, one-on-one -on -one consultation, and it's at no cost. Mm -hmm. And so we want to direct people to places they can go to get the same service they have for less money and more value. Mm -hmm. And we need more people to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, unfortunately, you do have to get licensed, um, you know, and, and th those type of things um, for those people who think that's unfortunate. For those people who got the right mindset, that's a great thing because mm -hmm. now I can go to training, I can get the license, and I can be qualified to do what I need qualified. to do to help people. Yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of things out there, you all, when it comes to fi finances that you have to know. You have to know. And it's not hard. Mm. You know, it's simple. It's, I, I just wish we can have a platform like this more often where we can reach people and y'all can reach back and you can get the coaching that you need, mm -hmm. you know, and you want. And if I may, and mm -hmm. if I and if I may, mm -hmm. coaching mm -hmm. is very different because I know Charlotte is Charlotte is a very abundant and affluent area. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people making a lot of money in Charlotte. And sometimes as adults we start feeling like, well, because I'm doing well, can't nobody tell me nothing. Mm. <laughs> Somebody can always tell me something. There was a there was an eight year old that I met the other day downstairs that told me something about myself that I didn't know, and I was like, I had to pray on that thing. I'm like, <laughs> out of the mouth of babes, right? Yeah. So anybody can tell you anything, but I know sometimes there comes this mentality. Well, I'm driving a Lexus and I live in this area, so I'm doing okay. Yeah. But are you on? Are you set for retirement? Mm -hmm. Do you know exactly what's going to happen if something happens to you? Mm -hmm. Are your parents set? Yeah. Do you have this put in place? Do you have your emergency fund? All the CDs and stuff that you say you have, do you really know how they work? Mm -hmm. So I think sometimes there's a willful suspension mm -hmm. of disbelief. Like we don't know what we what we think we have, you know, mm -hmm. just because we could, we heard it in a couple songs, you know, I got a right. ball, like, hey, okay, that sounds good, what you, yeah. but what is it really? Yeah. Like, what yeah. is that? Yeah. So until we kind of lower, learn to lower those guards and say, okay, I really don't know. So the difference between a coach mm -hmm. and an advisor, an advisor gets paid to give you advice, okay. whether or not you take it. Right. The coach's job is to lock arms with you and drag you kicking and screaming across mm -hmm. the finish line. Mm -hmm. So if you say, I want to retire at 55, mm -hmm. I want to have this much saved, mm -hmm. I want to be able to earn this much a month in retirement, I want to mm -hmm. do that. The coach's job is sometimes to grab you by the scruff of your neck you and know. make sure that happens. Yes. Because a coach only, only gets what they want mm -hmm. when the team wins. Mm -hmm. An advisor, I'm going to just tell you what you should do. You Good luck. Regardless. I've gotten paid. Yeah. Whether you get there yeah. or not. Yeah. 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 I like that. So, y'all, this is what I'll say about that. Like um, that. As 
a result of what you just heard, and you you will be hearing more. Um, we've already talked. He already knows we're going to be doing some money minutes. We're going to be doing some more talks at least once a month, along with reels yes. and everything. Um, <laughs> One of the things about me, for those of you that don't know, because y'all normally you usually see Herbert stuff, once I do make my mind up and make a decision to do some things, it's done. Mm -hmm. Like, you can forget about it. I'm, I'm on X, and no one, including my wife, is going to move me off the spot. So, y'all know what I'll be struggling so, with. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but God, she has <laughs> overcome. And so, <laughs> this is what I want to say. This is my challenge, because you're going to be seeing more about us, more from us, more from Rob. Um, this is my personal coach. Mm -hmm. You know, and he's committed to helping me, mm -hmm. and honestly, I'm committed to reaching you guys and bringing you with us. Yes. Um, so this goes out to all my brothers, because we know women, let's be honest, women have carried the church, society, spending of money, but my brothers, my husbands, you know, the fiancés, whatever, mm -hmm. um, there's more that we can learn. Yes. You know, I'm a grown man at 45 years old, but I have no problem saying, okay, I got this, I'm doing better at that, and this. But I need to come up even more in this other area, so I need help. I need a coach. Yes. And so I want you to be humble enough to make that decision. This is what I can tell you, that if you are willing, that if you do have a passion, if you are open to being corrected, he's not going to talk at you out the side of his neck. You know, he's not going to put his foot in his mouth. But the challenge is, can you be corrected? Can you be open? Can you can you say, you know what, I didn't do it this right. week, I missed it today, whatever the case may be. Be transparent. Be transparent and trainable. If you can do that, the beautiful thing about our business, and this is why I joined, we can take you from nothing to becoming a financial professional to help and change everyone else's life, while in the process, you'll see the blessing that it you know does for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, I want to say this real quick. A lot of times people feel like because my finances is so bad, my credit score, you know, is so low, it's the same size as my shoe size. You know, it's, it, they don't think, you know, they don't think that they could be in that field. Don't do that, you all. We need more people in this field. I'm telling you. Tell them your story. Tell, yeah. tell, tell them that one part. Give them that, give them that real quick. I'm going to tell them. you. I, like, you already know I grew up in the projects in the Bronx. Patterson Projects. You can look it up. Okay. 300 Morris Avenue, apartment 5B, 10451. And I went to Vanda Childs on Gun Hill Road in the Bronx. And then I went to college at South Carolina State because everybody told me the kid this success was going to school, going to school, going to school, get a good education. So I went to South Carolina State and got a degree in music education. And then I went to Rapid University in Virginia, got a master's in music. So that's six years of education. And I taught for seven years. And I was paid twenty six five. So for those of you who don't know, that is not a lot of money. Twenty six thousand dollars a year. Bringing home eighteen mm -hmm. with all of this education, mm -hmm. it was not it was not good financial. I couldn't do things for my mother. My father had passed away. My mother was working, um, and, and uh, they were living in a small town in, in South Carolina. And I was thinking that if I go to school, like they told me, I would be able to do some things financially. And you were the first person in your family. Yeah, I was the first one to go to college. college. So yeah. it was very disappointing. Yeah, man. Man, shoot. Mm -hmm. man, I was so broke. You know, if somebody would rob me, they'd just be practicing. Right? <laughs> right? Like, listen, I know what it's like to be broke, right? I used to eat cereal with a fork to save the milk, you know? Wow. <laughs> you ain't had no money. Fork. So, so I know. <laughs> oh, it tastes like Lucky Charms. <laughs> <laughs> so I know what it's like wow. to be in a situation where it's stressful and oh, you don't yeah. have it. And then when I started being in business, got licensed in finances, and started dabbling in finances, it changed my life. Mm. Even though I didn't know what mutual funds were, I didn't know what life insurance was, I didn't know what the S&P 500 was, I didn't know all of that, but I learned. Mm -hmm. And it's not hard. Mm -hmm. And then I started making two and $3,000 a month part-time while I was teaching. Man, please. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. you, you can, I, and then I started making, you know, a decent amount of money. But nonetheless, <laughs> it, it, it was... We're going to let that slide this time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> None, nonetheless, uh, you all... Uh, the thing that helped me, if I had to give one thing, was my belief. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't believe that I could make a lot of money be doing certain things. That's why I know some of you all are skeptical and you might not mm -hmm. um, understand that what his challenge is to, to get some African-American men and men in general and, and anybody else. 
because of the environment I grew up, I didn't believe that I could make what I'm able to do now. Mm -hmm. But once I got into that environment, mm -hmm. I started believing. Mm -hmm. And I'll just say this before I turn it back to you all. You'll never outperform your belief level. Mm. Did you catch you'll that? You'll never outperform. See, if you don't you believe that you can do something, you won't do it not because you can't, but because you don't believe it and you won't want to put forth the effort in something that you don't believe that can happen. Mm -hmm. So you mm -hmm. have to understand how powerful belief is. Mm -hmm. And once you get it, nothing, listen to me, mm -hmm. nothing can stop you. Wow. You cannot outperform. Your, not only can you not, God himself cannot. Mm -hmm. Jesus could work miracles everywhere but his own hometown. Mm -hmm. You know, so now for those of you that would think because we're spiritual and we're dropping God and stuff in our conversation, it's not that we're denying, you know, uh, the power of God in our lives, but he is the reason. That's it. At the same time, don't get it twisted. We're not trying to bring people in to have church. That is different. This is about changing your financial future, about education, so that you can get that transformation. This is where it starts. Your belief system will change. Well, trust me, when you begin to get around this guy, get around, get in our environments, that is one thing I do say when it comes to ministry, atmosphere and environments, mm -hmm. patterns and principles, mm -hmm. times and seasons. When you get those things together and begin to, when it begins to click for you, any, that's when the magic happens. That's when your belief translates into something else. So please remember that. I'm going to yes. turn it back over to Miss Pillar Talks and let her do what she does. That's it, you guys. Um, thank you so much. Our Heart Radio on um, Rob Davis. Tell them where they can get that book again. www.robddavis.com Yes, yes, yes. You go purchase true wealth. It starts in, in the, the mind. mind. Thank you, Manny, for, for just being here and, and, and just bringing, you know, everything that you have to bring is beautiful. I am going to learn, too. So he's in training, and I'm in training, too. Like, I'm going to be calling my sis, like, hey, you know, how we keep up with this? Like, how, how do I, you know, support? Because I want to support. So we're going to be doing some events. We're going to be launching the business. Y'all, we're going to rock it out. We're going to have fun because this journey is it's a blessing to be on and so i'm so excited um thank you mr d uh for just you know making sure that you you know put them plugs in so y'all well see. one last plug oh so i'm gonna jump in okay for those of you that don't want to wait for our official launch and if you said you know what i really want to meet this guy because he's a real person I'm, i can touch him he's right here <laughs> right we, we kept the money stuff on the low and everything else yeah. but if you want to meet with us before our launch and everything Listen, a closed mouth won't get fed, right? So, listen, reach out to us, back yes. message, Miss Pillar Talks. Yes. You know, you have our information and say, hey, I want to sit down with y'all right now. You can get some, some pre game. We can start establishing your financial roadmap right now. You don't have yes, to wait yes. for a launch. Like, yes. take action right now. Yes, 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 yes. Yep, that's a wrap, you guys. Um, so, um, appreciate you. You can go to www.pillowtalks.live if you need anything. Um, we're going to be doing YouTube. You're going to see this on YouTube, all that good stuff. All right, you guys. Peace.